Hello and welcome to my channel. Fiametta, Italian for Little Flame. Why does she have an Italian name I have no idea, is an artilleryman sniper, and this archetype specializes in launching attacks that deal AoE physical damage, due to her archetype, Fiametta has high attack but a slow attack speed and a long range, looking at her other stats, she has decent HP and defense and a high DP cost of 29 at Elite 2. Moving on to her talents, her first talent will consistently drain her HP from the moment she enters the battlefield. Thankfully, she can't be KO'd from the HP drain, as a trade-off. When Fiametta is above 50% HP, she will get a Vigor Attack buff of 25%. If her HP is above 80%, the buff is increased to 50%. The HP drain from this talent is similar to Auk, but given the fact that Fiametta is used as an on-field damage dealer, this isn't the best thing to have on her. While Fiametta is unable to die from this talent, she can be one-shotted by enemies if her HP gets too low. Looking at the bright side, the attack buff is really impressive for a talent. The main problem is the HP thresholds, so a dedicated medic is required to not only keep her alive at all times, but also to sustain the attack buff. Her second talent gives Fiametta more attack speed when her skills are not active, this may seem to be a lackluster talent at first but given the fact that her skills are all offensive recovery, she is able to charge her skill faster, a decent talent. Next up are her skills, her first skill increases her attack range by 1 and gives her a big attack buff. To clarify, the plus 1 attack range adds 3 tiles horizontally at the end of her range, making her already long attack range even longer, for reference, Fiametta will have a total of 5 tiles in front of her when this skill is active, that is the range of a blast caster, a decent skill to snipe certain enemies from afar, it has a low SP cost of 10 and a good duration of 30 seconds, though her other skills are arguably better than this. Now, if you think this video is helpful, do consider subscribing to stay tuned for similar content coming soon. Fiametta's second skill fires a bullet straight forward. Marking every tile it touches and explodes only upon reaching the end of her attack range, dealing a big burst of damage, afterwards, all the marked tile will explode as well, with each dealing half the damage as the first, this skill is best used in maps with an Ifrit lane, it has a low SP cost of only 7 at mastery 3, with a little bit of support from some SP batteries, Fiametta can use this skill quite frequently, the main drawback of this skill is its positional dependence. Fiametta's third skill changes her attacks to focus on only targeting the furthest tile away from her. She will get a small attack increase and her attacks now have a bigger hit radius. She will deal critical damage against enemies who are near the focused tile. Similar to her second skill, the effectiveness of this skill is somewhat dependent on her deployment position. The increased AoE radius is great, but what you really want is for enemies to walk into the focused tile for that big damage, so taking into consideration the tile Fia will focus on during her deployment is crucial. This skill has an average SP cost of 15 and has unlimited duration. You can also deactivate the skill at any time. This is Fia Meta's consistent damage skill. Lastly, we have her module. When it is activated, all her attacks will ignore 100 defense. Not the best upgrade as Fia already has high attack, but still a welcome one at that. So, should you pull and build Fia Meta? I'd say maybe. Fia has some very unique skills that seem extremely fun to play around with. Her kit is also very versatile as she can swap between many forms of dealing damage, despite her positional dependence, Fia can still be a decent operator to have in most stages. If you want an operator that can deal consistent high damage AoE attacks, Fia can be a good operator to go for, but do keep in mind that she only deals physical damage, which can be a little lackluster against high defense enemies. Now you may be asking, if I already have W, is Fia still worth pulling? I'd say yes, this is because W's kit makes use of stuns, unlike Fia's kit that lacks any crowd control, to make up for it, Fia focuses mainly on damage, since they fulfill different niches, each operator is unique in their own way. And that is all for this operator guide. Hope this video is helpful in introducing the upcoming operator, Fia Meta, I will be making similar videos in the future so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.